I think we're on, you guys. I think we're on. So, hello. Hello and welcome. I'm actually going to look around back of my phone, just make sure that we are actually live right now. Let me see here. We are. We're good. Hey, kiddo. I figured I would start you guys, like, facing me this time instead of facing directly down. Um, so that is what we're doing, and then we're just going to be janky about it and throw it up once, uh, <laughs> once we get it. Our, once we get our guests all in here. I, nope, you can't see me at all. Okay. It just took a second for it to um, go to my other one. I don't know. Let me turn this thing around. Oh, where are you? There it is. There we go. Okay, for real this time. Hello. Hi, there we are. Hey, friends. Hey, everybody. Oh my gosh, like what a freaking day this has been, right? Seriously, this is insane, insane day. How is everyone doing? Hey, let's say, oh, April, hi, April, and Elizabeth, and Michelle, and Ash. You guys, you guys, you're awesome. Thank you for being here. Yes. Oh, hey, Haley, Janelle, Tracy, Janine. New follower, oh, hi, welcome. Welcome to uh, Alive with Crystal. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. So I'm so glad you guys are all here. Um, I'm sure you have all seen by now that Tashi and I will be hosting the December daily prep party this November, which is like insane. You guys, I can't even believe, I can't even believe this is happening. Um, I actually didn't know that they were going to announce that today until like a half an hour before they announced it. And then I was like, oh my God, I have to go live in an hour. Hey kid. I was like, I have to go live in an hour, and now I'm like nervous energy. Like, it's so crazy, so crazy. But gosh, what an honor. I hope you guys are excited to be there and to, to do it with us. And we're, we're definitely excited to host it this year. Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle, and thank you, Janelle. All right, so uh, let me tell you what my plan is for today, and then I'm going to get you guys flipped around, and we're going to just start getting to work. So uh, on my YouTube channel already, you can already see days one, two, three, and four. Today we're going to be working on five, six, and seven. So I've got costume shopping is day five, day six is our Frankenstein pancakes, and day seven is uh, painting our nails. You can see I've got like painted nails for the first time ever uh, because I'm terrible at keeping them nice. So sorry, I have uh, Izzy is calling me over there. Anyway, what? We're good. We're good. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be documenting today. Now, uh, the only thing is that because I prepped everything, I believe that actually assembling it all is going to take me like 20 to 30 minutes and that's it for all three pages. So I have also prepped a bonus page today. So I'm super excited to get to that, which I will show you later. It's just a six by eight that's gonna go into my story album, but it is kinda sorta Halloween themed. So you'll see it when we get to it. So let me do the janky thing and get you guys turned around and pointed down at my desk, and then we will go ahead and get to work. So let's do this. I apologize for the craziness. Oh. All right. Put you up here. Someday I'm going to get a second camera. Nope. Here we go. Yes. So someday I will get a second camera and this won't be like this anymore. But for now, it's got to be like this. So here we go. We're top down. Yay. Oh, you can see all of my tape edges. In case you guys are ever wondering like what the heck these tape marks are, when I am filming a video, uh, usually I position this a better way and this lets me know like how far I can put my stuff where you can see it <laughs> because when I first started filming videos I kept like putting myself my stuff off of the screen and then you couldn't see what I was doing um, let me see if I can adjust you so that you can still you can see more of my table yeah, that's better okay so here we go let's get to this uh, so we've got days one two, three, and four. So today we are working on the back side of the boo bar here, um, which is the costume, costume shopping. So in case you were wondering, uh, waiting on the edge of your seat to see what we are going to be for Halloween this year, we have decided to do the Powerpuff Girls. So uh, Izzy is going to be 
um, Bubbles, the blue one, because currently she's obsessed with blue, uh, which is funny because she was obsessed with pink for the longest time. Really, I think every color is her favorite. Uh, she just, you know, right now she favors blue. So she's going to be Bubbles, and I'm going to be uh, Mrs. Keen, Miss Keen, which is the teacher. Erin is going to be Professor Your Utonium, Utonium? Yes, which is like the father figure. And then uh, Jonah, or Jojo as we call him, is going to be Mojo Jojo. So that will be really clever. Really, that was the whole reason that we chose Powerpuff Girls. If we're perfectly honest, is because we just needed to have a Mojo Jojo year. So that is where we're gonna be. Yeah. Hey Tashi, welcome. Yeah, right. Happy Thursday, right? Okay. I'm like discombobulated. Like this is crazy. Okay, so here is what I did. I took a journaling card from the In a Creative Bubble uh, kit from this year. Mm, I don't remember what it's called because she names them, but I don't, I'll link it. I'll have it linked below, which I don't have it in there right now, but I will add that <laughs> once I once this video uploads. Um, so this is from the In a Creative Bubble collection that she just released this year. It says Halloween, bring on all the spooky and strange and whatever. And then it had an area for journaling. Now this card is actually really a three by four card. I altered it and I extended it out to make it a five by four and a quarter so that it would fit on the back side of this full page. Um, which I'm also realizing that it is actually slightly less. That's okay. I will trim off some pieces here. We'll be good. Um, and then I added orange text on here and I just talked about how like typically we go to uh, Target every year. We go to Target and we pick our costumes there or we go to a Halloween store and we pick our costumes there. And this year we're not doing that because it's COVID, um, COVID season and we're just, we're not, we're not going to risk it. So um, instead we ordered all of our stuff online which I received in a large portion of it, but some of it we haven't gotten yet. So on this particular spread, I have the pictures of the products that we got to dress up in. And I also have journaling of like why we are the people that we are. And then I also have um, like a cartoon image of the person who we are. This is like slightly too short. I don't want to trim that. So you know what I'm going to do? Okay. My card, I must have trimmed off a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab a washi tape. Let me, let's see what I want to do here. Because this goes next to this. So we're going to be like that. I'm going to say no to you. Honestly, I'll probably just go with black and white. Yep, I'm just going black and white. Okay. So anyway, that's what I have to put in here so far. Oh, thank you, Martha, from my dark nail polish. Yeah, I actually really love black nail polish. I, I really love it, but I never wear nail polish. I think because I used to uh, work in, I used to work in an aquatics department. So like water and pools and stuff. And like nail polish just doesn't stay on. And then I had kids. And also, I just scuff it on everything. So, like, this will be really good because I painted them last night. And then tomorrow, they'll already be bad. Just, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. And that's okay. But I need to, like, I know Heba. I know Heba, you're in here. Heba, you always paint your nails. And I'm always, like, ah, every time I watch your video, I'm, like, I really need to paint my nails. Because it just looks so nice. Okay. There we go, see, easy little fix there. No big deal. So now I need to trim this off. So the reason is that this was originally a four by six card and I trimmed it down to a four by five. So that's why it's actually less than 4.25, which is what I printed that at, but there is plenty of space at the top and the bottom. Yes. Yeah, chip by the next day. It happens, it happens, oops. Let's not. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So that solves that. So we've got journaling. We've got all that business there. Let me grab my hole punch tool. And yeah. Yeah, Sabrina, right? 
seriously, I just like I am so jealous of all of all the nail polish. Like I just want to be able to do it. Uh, and I just never have like even going to nail salons. Do you, how many of you guys go to like nail salons? Cause I have probably been like four times, uh, two or two of them for weddings, one for my own <laughs> and one for my sister-in-law and maybe once with a sister-in-law for like a girl's day. Maybe that's it. Maybe only three times. Like I just really don't take care of my nails, which is probably it's, I'm, that's not necessarily a good thing. Oh, so I was going to tell you. So I printed this card from that in a creative bubble kit. I extended it out, made it a little bit bigger, added my text on here in orange. And I also took, so I found online a picture of this uh, Halloween market collection, like the cover of the paper pad. And I tried to find as close to this color on it as possible in order to pick that up and then plop it down on uh, this card. So this card is not actually white. It's made to match the tones of this kit because I thought it would be weird if I had like a stark white and then like this cream color. So that's what I did here. So that's why this does not really look white. Uh, and we can, I'm going to put that on over here. Okay. So then I have this portion that I made on my flip out. Um, right. Yes. This was for flips. This was in my flips prep pages or whatever foundation pages so inside I have tags and each of these tags is for a different person so this one is going to be for Aaron so what I'm going to do I'm going to take the string off and then I'm just going to add there's what Aaron's going to be I don't know if you can see that he's going to be professor Utonium, which is like the easiest costume of all time you just need a lab coat which we already have so that made that easy so this yeah I'm just going to put on the back of course and we're out. I wonder if this is my last one. Let's find out. <gasps> you guys. Oh, you guys. Today is the day. Today is the day. I got this new tape roller because uh, this is what a lot of you recommended because I actually don't really like Tombow. And today is the day for using the new one, which let's let's give it a go <laughs> all right well it it rolls nicely okay here's a question if I put something down poorly is it like easy to pull it back up or do I need to like definitely make sure that I do this right because <laughs> I don't always do it right okay but that's fine you know what? I probably should have whatever I don't care <laughs> can kind of see my writing through the picture, but I don't care enough. It's fine. So there's that. And then these guys are going to go. You can pull it back up for a while. Okay, good. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So this is actually what he got. Okay, so this is what this is. So we've got a picture of his character, a picture of his costume, and then this is the journaling for why. So on this one, I talked about how Aaron was actually the one who chose our costumes this year. Um, he was the one who thought of Mojo Jojo and was like, we need to do this. And then he, because he wanted to get Isabella to agree with him, he started watching the show with her. Uh, and now she's like super excited about it because she gets to be a superhero. That's what she tells everybody because she technically doesn't really know still very much about the Powerpuff Girls. Um, so she's like, I'm going to be a super girl. So it works. <laughs> Makes her excited. So have you guys or your kids, or whoever. Uh, well, first of all, if you do or don't have kids, <laughs> do you dress up for Halloween um, as an adult? And so that's question one. And question two is, if you do have kids, or if you yourself dress up, what are you gonna be for Halloween this year? Okay, we are going to punch this. There we go. Pretty good. And then these might not be able to do that anymore, so I might need to do just through instead of a loop. So I'm thinking that if I if I loop it like this again, it's gonna be really hard to like flip them, so I need to put it in like this and just tie it. And that will work. 
and these are now gonna be too short. Let's see, Halloween isn't my jam. That's okay, Emily. Haven't dressed up since you were 12. <laughs> so fun fact is that I, I don't know if I've ever, if I've ever like truly missed a year of dressing up. Like I remember going trick or treating like right until I was in my senior year of high school. What am I doing? Right until I was in my senior year of high school and um, <laughs> like we would go to people's houses and they'd be like, aren't you too old for this? And we were like, no, <laughs> like, never too old. <laughs> Not sure what your daughter's going to be Captain Underpants. That's hilarious. But don't trick or treat. Yes. Yes. And sometimes how about that's what I do too. Sometimes I will just put on like a, um, sometimes I'll just put on like a witch's hat uh, and some like spider leg spider web leggings and like call that a day okay so there's one so we're just gonna get all these done anything disney yep you still have something man. never had it in a couple years yeah go to disney Steph, how many times have you been to disney for halloween and have any of the rest of you been to Disney for Halloween. I've never been for Halloween, but I've always wanted to go. My sister-in-law went like a couple years ago and I actually, um, I made her an album cause that's like what I do, right? I like to make people, <laughs> I like to make people albums. So I made her an album all about her trip to Disney. Um, and it was really fun. I got to like live vicariously through her photos and like, it was such a, it was so fun. It looked so cool. I would love, love to go. Yes. Yes. I Yeah, I seriously, I want to go to Disney so bad for Halloween. That would be so fun. In the beginning of Christmas. That's so cool. Because they must, like, change it over right away once, once Halloween's over. Okay, this uh, tape roller, you guys, this rolls real nice. Like, this is so smooth after um, that. And it does roll up easily because I always get it everywhere, too. So that's also, like, super nice. Yep. Wish I could get rid of this, like, notification. Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> there was something. Okay, so... Here's mine. So we've got, you know, actually, let me trim this, then I'll show you. So I'm going to be Miss, I can never remember her name, Miss Keen. I only know that because when I was looking her up, it said it online. <laughs> so I, yeah, I really didn't know her name before that. So I'm going to be Miss Keen, and she looks like this. Um, so pretty normal. Here's the cool thing about being her, and I actually talk about this in my journaling, is that after I get to be her, uh, I get to just put my costume into my closet because it's just regular clothes. So um, that's really cool. And I was going to like go backwards and have a, a red shirt and an orange jacket because I already have like an orange sweater. So I was like, oh, that might work. I'll just flip flop it. But then I was like, meh, every picture you see of her, she's an orange shirt and a red jacket, every single one. And then I was like, well, you know what? This gives me a great reason to get myself a red cardigan, which cardigans are my favorite piece of clothing. So why not? So I totally did that. <laughs> there we go. Totally did it. Totally worth it. Which tape is it? Okay, it is called... Hmm. Kokuyo? Co Kokuyo? It's K O K U Y O. Kokuyo. I got it off of Amazon. Um, and so far, my impressions of it are that it's really good. I love cardigans. Yes, cardigans are the best. Um, plus, I live in Michigan. So here in Michigan, it is cold more than it is warm. Um, like we have warm summers, like it gets up in the nineties and stuff, but like right now it is in the like sixties most of the time. It's been in the sixties and the fifties this week. Uh, and then it'll, it'll get real cold. So I like to wear a lot of cardigans. Plus I, uh, scrapbook in my basement. We have a finished basement here. So I scrapbook here. Um, 
how do I do this? Okay, I scrapbook down here and I typically will wear sweaters when I'm down here or blankets. I like to wear those too. <laughs> so, that I can, so that I can stay nice and warm. Cause like who likes to be cold? Not me. <laughs> That's so cute, Brenda. That's so cute. I love that. So she dressed up her puppy as a bat and then dressed up to match her puppy. And that is the cutest thing. I bet you people loved that when they came to your house. Okay, so this one, oh, I need to like baby wipe this. I think it's dirty. Okay, so anyway, this one right here, this is Izzy. So if you've never seen Powerpuff Girls before, this is Powerpuff Girls. Um, so they are like these little girls that fly around and save the world, AKA their, their town. It's a cute show. So this one I'm just going to cut around the tag here. And we'll do that. Uh, which, by the way, for fussy cutting like this, in case anybody asks the question, I use Cutter B scissors. These are Cutter B precision scissors. Really any scissors are fine. I, I forget who was recommending these. When I got them, I really like them, um, but I'm assuming any <laughs> any precision scissors are fine. Uh, but definitely make it much easier to cut things out. I'm really sad that I got something on this. Ugh, again, like, do I? I don't care. Okay, so then, okay, so there is her person. Here is her costume. So this is what we got her. And then I did journaling about why she chose bubbles because she's apparently a super fan of blue right now. And um, that. So with my October daily, one thing that I think is signature of me, right? I love words. If you don't know that, you know that now. I, I love words and I love putting as many words on things as possible. Like my project life is like a couple of photos and a ton of words just because I can't, I can't help it. <laughs> I just can't help it. So, um, I like to try and find ways to still include a lot of words, even in projects that are small, like this one, which is why you see, I have like a mini essay here and then each of these tags has a little mini thing on it too. There's just lots of journaling because that's what I like. But I also think it, for me anyway, I like being able to look back on things and seeing like, you know, well, why, like, why did we choose that? Why was that important to us at the time? Uh, I like to take that lens a lot. Like, why was this important? Um, okay, I need to position this so that my words don't get cut off. I think that's probably good. And I'm just gonna punch you so that we get you in the right spot. Tashi! <laughs> my own costume. Tashi, you can't do this to me today. It's already been, it's already been too much of a day. Like this day has been too much already. Oh, you guys. <laughs> well, I guess she's going to be bubbles with a hole in her head because I am not doing that over. Whatever. <laughs> mini essay. <laughs> yeah, right. Mini. Well, yes. That's how, yes. Lots and lots of words. Haley, what did you say? I missed it. What did you say about me? Hopefully it wasn't about me. Oh, wait. I was thinking about dressing up as a dog, Marty. Oh, yes. Okay, I see that now. Yes, that would be funny. So, uh, yes, Haley is my sister, which is why I asked her if she said anything bad about me. Haley is my sister. Um, and she has her dog, Mr. Marty, who is a big old troublemaker, but he's an old man now, so we can't give him that much of a hard time. But he's cute. He's a cute little white uh, cotton de Tulier is the, bra the breed. So she gets to continue on the dog family because I grew up with dogs and Erin and I are the cat family. <laughs> okay, so we're almost there. This is like the most intensive page I have today, which is funny because it's really like not that intense. 
just trimming things and tying them off <laughs> and telling you guys all about our costumes. So what I'm waiting for to come in the mail, aside from I just ordered myself that jacket <laughs> today because I was like, you know what? Screw it. I want it. So I got it. Uh, that I got myself today, so that should come in this weekend. And then um, I'm waiting on a portion of Jonah's. So here's the thing about Mojo Jojo, is there is no such thing as a Mojo Jojo costume. Why? Why they would not make a costume for him, I don't know. That seems nuts. Uh, Mojo Jojo looks like this, if you have never seen the show before. He is a black monkey with a green face, and he wears like a blue tunic, a purple cape, and then this like wild hat. That's Mojo Jojo. So for Jonah this year, for him to be Mojo Jojo, the closest I could find was a brown monkey costume. So I got him the brown monkey costume and a blue vest to be like the tunic and a purple cape to be the cape. And then I got him this white hat and I ordered some purple puffy paint so I can make cool designs on it like that. And that's going to be Jonah. That's going to be Mojo. <laughs> oh, and I will get some face paint and I'll paint his face green because that'll be fun. And he'll probably mess it up in like five seconds. But maybe, just maybe, I'll get a cool picture first and then that will be epic. So that is Mojo Chocho's costume because he doesn't exist. He should though because like how cool would that costume be if it was in real life? It would be pretty cool. So... That is, that is our hack though for this year anyway. Um, and I just like, I could have probably, well, there literally was no black monkey costumes um, because I think a black monkey they consider to be a gorilla. So there's no gorilla costume for a child. Those are usually for adults. Um, and they're like crazy. So I couldn't find the black, but um, yeah, there just, there was nothing. So I could have, I could have made him like a tunic cape thing and I probably could have made him some kind of hat myself, but I just don't have, I just didn't have time for that. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to piece it together and figure it out. Photoshopped her green. That is a great idea. <laughs> that is a great idea. So, okay. So maybe we'll try that because he might not like the whole like paint being on his face uh, at all. I don't know. <laughs> or he might. He was asking me today if I would paint his nails. And I, yeah, I would not because that boy can't keep his hands off of things. So then everything would have nail polish on it. Otherwise, why not? I probably would have. Like, yeah, sure. You can paint your nails. <laughs> figure it out. Yeah. Aren't they? They're fun. So, okay. Have any of you guys, this is like going to be totally random. Have any of you guys ever cosplayed before? Mary. Well, so a very important date. Mary, you're hilarious. Well, thank you. Thank you. And that's so, you guys, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> um, as I'm just sitting here punching things. Um, okay. Yes. I can't wait to see the pics either. And, um, so like we're doing a couple of things different this year because we're not trick or treating. Um, I don't even know if our state is going to like be open for trick or treating. Who knows? It probably will because like, you know, things are nuts, but it shouldn't be. Uh, so we are not trick or treating. Instead, we are going to do like a backyard party with our neighbors. Uh, they have been our pod throughout this COVID season, um, this COVID year, which is so funny that we have like terms for that kind of stuff. Like the term pod is like a thing now. Um, so they are our pod and we're going to do a party with them and just like have games and, um, and candy and stuff for the kids. And then we are also like a couple days before, like a week or two before Halloween, we're going to do a costume dinner. So the idea being like, we're getting, we're still getting our costumes because like it's, it's Halloween. Like we're getting our costumes and we will create reasons to wear them. <laughs> so those are going to be our reasons to wear our costumes this year, uh, which actually almost makes me more excited than trick-or-treating. So I'm cool with that. 
All right, so that is day five. So we've got we've got our essay about trick or treat or about buying costumes being different this year. And then uh, we have all of our tags with all of our things. So once we dress up in them, I may I may come back and add pictures of that here, or I may just let this be and add those when we do something like our um, our dinner, like our costume dinner spread, and just let the pictures live there. So the next part that I'm going to be doing is. Um, is this one about our Frankenstein pancakes. So this I can toss and this actually I need to put back in. So let me put this back in that spot over here. And we're good, okay. So that's my tag, there's that, there's that. So I already did my journaling here. Um, I debated typing it using my Typecast typewriter or just putting it through my printer. Ultimately, I decided to just do it the easy route and handwrite it. My handwriting is not my favorite, but I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to embrace it and write more in my handwriting so that I eventually do like it. I feel like it's probably something kind of like when you first start hearing yourself, so like when I edit my own videos for my process videos, I have to listen to myself talk for a long time and you get very used to your own voice. So I'm like, maybe handwriting will work the same way where I can just do it a whole lot and then eventually I will like it. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I do typically prefer typed because I can fit a lot more words on, uh, on a project. So usually I go with typed. This time I was like, I'm just writing it. So this allows me to just plop this on top here. I had waited just to make sure that this was gonna go here for sure, and it is, so we are just going to get it on. Let me do it this way. Actually, let me add some on here too. Just so we'll go. Are you serious? You guys. You need to stop it. Stop it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Rodley, thank you. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. Thank you so much, you guys. Luckily, I don't have the uh, the box thing. You guys don't have to see my face. So <laughs> you guys can't make me cry. So don't, don't even try. <laughs> but thank you, you guys, seriously. I... This has been a nutso day, like just crazy day, crazy day. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay on track here. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay on track. Uh, so we're on day six, day six. Okay, so here is how easy this one is and why today's gonna be like no time at all. I have two pictures and an embellishment and that's all <laughs> for this one. So we've got uh, Jonah eating a Frankenstein pancake and Izzy eating a Frankenstein pancake, which by the way, uh, all you have to do to make these, they're so easy and the kids like totally loved them. So Martha, you guys, ah, oh. <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. And now stop it. <laughs> but no, seriously. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Frankenstein pancakes. So all you have to do, oh, Mary, you are, that's so exciting. Um, yeah, October Daily is like right up there with, with December Daily for me. I love them both. I don't even know if I could pick a favorite and I know that's probably um, like, I know that's, that's probably, I don't even know the word. I'm so flustered right now. Uh, okay, so I have two pictures. One of the kids making Frankenstein pancakes. All I did was add green food coloring into my pancake mix that's literally it and then I cooked them however <laughs> I'm like not even gonna pay attention to you guys anymore you're killing me stop it you're killing me October 1st birthday well happy birthday happy birthday what is today today is the 8th so that was like a week ago were you here on your birthday and I didn't even know it maybe you weren't it's okay uh, but yes happy birthday that's crazy you guys are yes okay so this is this is it okay <laughs> guys you guys are driving me nuts okay here we go so we're gonna stick in the Izzy picture Whoop, just like that we're gonna stick in the Jonah picture okay let me let me try this again Frankenstein pancakes <laughs> Jesus. 
Okay, so um, you add green food coloring, and then when I cooked it, they were... I'm seriously not paying attention to you guys anymore. <laughs> like, you're just killing me. You're killing me. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you. You guys, thank you. Stop it. <laughs> and thank you. We demand crystal in the box. I, you guys, it's coming. At some point, it's coming. When I get a new phone and then I'll have a second phone, it'll come. I promise. Uh, it's just, yeah. You guys. <sighs> You guys, okay. I'm so flustered. If that was your goal, you've achieved it. You have totally achieved it. Okay, I can't put this on here yet. Also, like, okay. Let me try flipping this. Uh, let's see if it won't cover up as much as hit of his head. Last week, they made me cry. Yeah, we did. It was the best thing ever, Haley. It was the best. I loved every second of it, which I probably shouldn't say because now you're going to, yeah. Don't do it to me. <laughs> Okay, Ugh, I should have planned this better. So that's too much of his head. I prefer it covering up part of hers. So we're just gonna trim a bit off and call this. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. You guys, these are the best. All right, we're gonna like, this is gonna be janky. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore, whatever. Cut off the white, who cares? <laughs> is this my first pocket I've ever done? Yes, it is, okay, cool. Cool. So that's one difference for this year for me for this little album is I'm doing a lot more out of the page protectors because that's t <laughs> that's like developed into my style. Like I do a lot outside of the page protectors. Yeah, that's better. Cool. So now you can see her poking out. You see him. We're good. I can't add that yet, though, because I got to add the backside. So uh, we're done with that. We're done with that. We're done with this. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm so, I'm so flustered. Okay. Uh, I don't know. So but when the uh, Allie announcement went out, I don't think I have ever been, like, ever been so nervous. Maybe ever. I don't know. I was so nervous for that. Um, okay, we're going like this. By the way, these are the day seven. Is what I'm on right now? Yeah. Day seven. These are for... Um, painting our nails. So I've got Izzy with her nails, which she went for the multicolored again this year. That's kind of her go-to, the black and the pink. And I did full on black and I took her picture and she took mine and like super cool. So that's going to be it literally for this. And I already did my journaling here. So I've got all about painting nails on the back of that thing. And I, I look at this, you guys, I tried to write as small as I could so that I could fit more words because always more words. So this one is gonna slip down in here like so. <gasps> this one's gonna slip in over here like so. Get in there. And then we can stick this Frankenstein on here. So there we go. So I've got that, the shaker pocket I already pre-made. This I had already added on here before. Um, that is that, so we're just gonna add this piece on here, which I think I'll use red line tape just to make sure it's secured super well. And then that will be it. So this is one of the bonuses for me to prepping my pages, especially because I am the type of person, I don't really deviate from the plan uh, just because that's my <laughs> personality. So um, typically if I, decide I'm going to do something, we do it. And, oh gosh, red line tape is the worst for getting off. Oh, and I have another funny story I'll tell you here in a second. Anyway, um, there we go. So it works really well for me because then like when I go to actually do it, it takes me a half an hour to do three pages, uh, which is really cool. So, and it takes me a half an hour to do three pages, partially because I'm chatting with you guys and you guys keep uh, make me all flustered. So, <laughs> so yes, that is cool. All right, so we're just going to stick our, we're going to stick Frankie on here. There he goes. There is our Frankenstein pancakes. These were like extra bits and pieces I had for just in case I wanted to add them on here. I don't, I think everything looks great. And so I will add some tape here though, because that's going to bother me if that keeps flying up. So, 
for the sake of keeping things nice and secure. Let's, oh, and we'll see if I can get this darn backing off. Oop, I'm going to tear my nail polish off. Nope, we're good. We're good. Okay, so let's stick that down. Take off. There we go. And then it like sticks to you. Like, <laughs> let me shake it off. Okay, and over here. Okay. Uh, okay, so here's a funny story, right? So on another live, I don't remember which one it was, I was telling you guys about how like my number one tool, uh, my number one tool is my tweezers. I like can't live without them because I can't put things down straight without them or like take tape off the back or back off the tape. I can't do these things on my own, so I need my tweezers. Well, I have somehow lost my tweezers, but I have not lost this gross tip because it's really old. I have not lost the protective tip, but I have lost the entire pair of tweezers. So I had to buy myself a new one like last week because I was like, well, I'll find it. Eventually I'll find it. And I have not found it. And it, uh, you know, I just can't live without them. So I had to buy myself a new one, which how in the world do you lose tweezers and not the protective piece? Because like, if I was going to lose something, you would think it would be this. I don't know. Crazy, crazy, crazy life. Okay. So I am going to clean this stuff off of my desk here. Uh, and put it to the side and then I'm going to pull over the other page that I put together or that I designed to put together for today, which I'm really excited about it. So let me set this all to the side. What I don't need, I'll put that in the real place where it goes later. This and this and this I don't need and this I don't need and pretty much everything I don't need. <gasps> I, yeah, I don't know. I think, okay, so Millie, here's, here's what I do. I, um, oh, hold on. Uh -huh. I am very particular about where things go when I am working on my projects. So like I have a specific place where I put the protective cover for my tweezers and I have I usually keep these on my desk and I always put them back on like every single time I use these I put it back on and every single time I use these I put it back on so um I think that's why I typically don't lose those I just don't know like I swear my son must have found these and threw them in the garbage and then we took the garbage out because he does that all the time he is like a monster when it comes to throwing things away um so all right, I am super excited about this being like, that was so easy. Okay, easy peasy, done. All right, so let's push this to the side. So the page that I'm going to work on now um, is actually an idea that my friend Melanie, who's on here, I think she's on here right now, that Melanie helped me come up with. So she texted me the other day and was like, hey, I... I think she texted me yesterday. It was like, hey, I uh, went to this event. She went, she took her son to baseball. She's like, I need help figuring out an idea of how to document this in my October daily. And I was like, oh, okay, let me think about this. And so I gave her a couple of different ideas. And I think she ended up coming up with like her own, really, which is awesome, right? Like that's the best way to do it is to like have these light bulb moments and to be able to come up with them your own. But I was like, you know what could be really cool is like, what if you use your cutting machine, because she has a Cricut, to cut out like a crystal ball and then like have the picture of him in his baseball stuff, like in the crystal ball, like you're watching him at his practice. I'm like, that's kind of cool. And then she didn't end up using that. But then I was like, oh my gosh, that makes me think of Wizard of Oz because that's like what the Wicked Witch of the West does. And Wizard of Oz, if you don't know, which probably nobody knows this, uh, Wizard of Oz was my absolute favorite movie as a child. Uh, I know a lot of people were scared of it. Like a lot of kids my age did not like it. And, and people who are like my age now like don't like it because of the scary monkeys and all that stuff. But I loved The Wizard of Oz. I loved it. So I 
decided that that would be a super cool story to document, my love for Wizard of Oz. And um, so that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to use that crystal ball idea because I love the crystal ball idea. I thought that was so cool. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so I've got some bits and pieces here. This is all from the most recent Allie Edwards Digital Stories by the Month. So she releases every month. She has a Digital Stories by the Month and a Physical Stories by the Month. And if you didn't already know, the Digital Stories by the Month for this year are going to become next year's Physical Stories by the Month. So it's kind of like how you, like you can always know what's coming up next by looking at last year's product from that particular month. Um, so this is the digital set for this year. So this I printed off on photo paper because I wanted it to be as saturated as possible. I do this a lot with uh, things that are dark or that have dark colors on them just because my uh, cardstock, like you can see the difference here, my cardstock does not print as like bold and saturated. So I was okay with that for these two because I kind of liked them having that more rustic feel, but this one I wanted to be like super bold. So that is going to be the backside of this spread. And this is just going to be one six by eight spread. Uh, so this I have, then I went back into my photo archive and I found a picture of me when I dressed up as the Wicked Witch of the West. So this is me. I actually don't even know how old I am. Maybe like five or four. So I'm probably right around Izzy's age in this photo. Uh, I cropped it like it really was like this tall, but I wanted it to fit right here. <laughs> so I cropped it a whole bunch and it's going to go in like that. So it's just going to be a photo on this like loving. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I know. Like so cute. So uh, my mom, my mom always went all out for Halloween. So we always had like really fun Halloween costumes and yeah. It was so good memories. I love going back and looking at that, which by the way, I also love if you guys ha uh, do not follow Jessica Upton, which I'm sure you all do, but if you don't, she is doing an October daily album, but it's not a daily like, like mine. It is every day. She is documenting a costume that one of her children wore, which I think is the coolest project like so cool and it makes me want to do it for my own like upbringing like me and my brother and my sister and to document what we were for Halloween and why and all that stuff it's so cool I absolutely love that project so okay back to this so then I printed or I used my silhouette I have a silhouette to cut out two crystal balls that are like reversed so I have this one um which is going to have this photo that I found online behind it, which I decided I was debating whether I wanted to use white, I'll show you later, or black. And I think I've decided on just sticking with the black. So this is going to go inside the crystal ball like so. Then I have a second one with a different picture. Let's put these over here. So this one's gonna go like this. And then these are gonna go back to back. So we're gonna have like this, this crystal ball in here that's going to go like this and it'll flip right so I have to make some tabs to get it to flip in there and the bonus on top of that is that I want this to turn I want this to be a shaker pocket so I have I have these stars that are gold and silver let me get those out so gold and silver stars that I thought would be cool and I also have I'm not going to use the glitter because glitter is a disaster uh, so I'm not getting that out but I do have just regular red sequins too. So I might do a combination of both because to me, like that's kind of Wizard of Oz, right? Like ruby red slippers. So that makes sense to me. All right. So that is what we're going to do. Um, so first things first, what I want to do first is get this. All I need to do is adhere this photo on here. That's it. Um, my journaling here, maybe I'll read it to you guys. Do you guys want me to read you my journaling about, about Wizard of Oz? Urgh. Okay, let's not be stupid here. There we go. All right, I'm going to put this on here. I might put something in the middle of that. I might pull out my chipboard and just see if anything goes with this story, maybe. So. Should have snow like the Good Witch. Ah, oh, I know. I don't think I have any snow, though. That would be really cool. 
that would be a really cool idea. Okay. Okay, so journaling. I'll read you this and then we'll put this to the side and work on that. So my journaling says, uh, when I was a little girl, I was very sickly. I remember spending a large chunk of time in the hospital with breathing and lung issues. Uh, I'm actually, if you don't know, I have, I have chronic asthma, but only when I get sick. And it was much, much, much worse when I was a child than it is now. But um, yes, that has followed me through my life. Uh, now, as an adult, I can't even imagine the stress and heartbreak my parents must have felt. Although my memories from that time are not very strong, I do have one from a stay in the hospital. I remember my mom bringing me a set of the Wizard of Oz action figures, my forever favorite characters. I remember those little plastic toys and how much they meant to me. I remember feeling so happy to receive them and to hold them in my ivy-ridden arms. I remember the feel of the plastic and the way they looked and the joy I felt. What I don't remember is everything else, the doctors, the medicine, the shots. I love that for me, this film became something much more than just a movie. It was a story of a young girl who overcame so much, who learned about the importance of friends and family, and who eventually made it back home, just like I would. So that is my Wizard of Oz. So it's like, yeah. Um, so yeah, Wizard of Oz has a special place in my heart. And actually, last year, we watched it for the first time with Izzy, which was so cool. Like, she loved it. I loved it. It has singing. So, like, all kids are, well, not all kids, but kids are going to love that, right? Um, okay, so we've got this. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, I have got to grab some really quick. I got to grab some acetate with, from my shelf right to the right of me. So let me go grab the acetate and then I will be right back. Okay, yeah, so easy peasy. So this is the acetate that I like to use for things like this. Uh, it's actually the only one I have right now. I do know that Graphics has some that's like really thick and almost more like a transparency, which I really need to try getting that, like investing in it. It's just kind of expensive, so I haven't yet. Um, but I need to give it a try because um, that would probably work better as a transparency in between pages because this is really thin, but this is awesome for shaker pockets like this. So that's what I'm gonna use. You can also use like uh, pockets that you are no longer using like or that you don't need so you can use that for things like shaker pockets too uh, but this just is easier for me at the moment so what I'm going to do is I am going to adhere down my crystal ball onto this onto this portion first so if you watched the video where I made the Santa this is going to be kind of the same idea um, which side do I want you on I might want you on this side actually uh, so it's going to be the same idea, which I need. Mm, what do I want to do here? I'm just going to use my normal glue because I am going to sew it. Uh, I like to stitch on things like these because it just, I feel much more comfortable about it staying in and stuff not falling apart. <sighs> gratis, gratis, okay. Yes, I actually, I, oh, graphics. Yeah, the same. Yeah, I actually, um, I bought some. I just need to use it. <laughs> I need to, like, I need to do it. Uh, is, no. So this is actually, I just found, this is, like, what I uh, do a lot of times. I just found it, a free vector image online. So I just looked up, like, uh, crystal ball JPEG or crystal ball PNG, crystal ball SVG, and kind of search for different files, uh, silhou you know, a silhouette version or whatever, outline. And then I find it, I find a free one, and I pull it into silhouette and I draw it onto the, uh, sorry, I trace it in the program and then I can just cut it out. So this is just one that I found for free online. Um, which is pretty cool. That's one of the things I, I super love about silhouette. I don't know. I have no, like, zero knowledge of crickets. I know nothing about crickets. So they could work the exact same way. They probably do, and I would have no idea. Um, which side? So you, yes, so I want it on this side. So we're going to get this down on here first. 
Yes, yes, yes. Graphics, yes. Um, cool. Anything else I'm missing up here? You guys. So how has everybody's October been so far? Can you guys believe that we are already, like, more than a week in? Seriously, can this time just, like, go any faster? On the one hand, I, I like, you know, that time is going fast because, gee, it would be pretty, it would be pretty nice to get to 2021. Uh, at the same time, it's just, like, wicked fast. I can't even believe it. <sighs> I can't even believe it. It's hard to like have a, a moment to just breathe. Um, just because it's just going so fast. Okay, so let's get this trimmed out. Actually, no, we won't do that yet. We'll do this first. Okay, so then I kept these inside parts. So this is the inside of the ball and it has those like window streaks on it. Now I did debate using white and I tried it out like on my page and I didn't like it. So we're just sticking with the black. Uh, I think it was like too contrasting to do the, to do a white. Okay, so here's my pieces. So we've got you, which go, are you the one there? Okay, this is where I need tweezers. Drama, mom, oh no. Oh no. I hope your mom's okay. Oh my gosh, oh, you said she's doing well. That is like, that's so scary. That is so scary. I'm so sorry that happened to her. Oh, that's like, that's, that's uh, like everyone's nightmare, right? Like, oh gosh. Okay. And the little one. Okay, I just want to make sure that these are the correct pieces before I put glue on them and put them down. Okay, so if we've learned, if I've learned <laughs> from the Santa, we're going to do it this way. You go in here. Let's see if we can get this right. Yes. Okay, so we've got... Okay, hopefully that's enough. Uh, all right, so the problem, the one thing with this method is that a lot of times when you pick it back up, it likes to stick to the template. So let's see if I can get it to stay on the plastic. Stay. Yes, cool. Okay, so there's one. There's one, okay. Now let's do the second one. Okay, and there's that. And no. Yes. Okay. Whoops. Gosh darn it. Moved. Stop. Okay. Yeah, this part is the tricky part. This right here <laughs> is the hard part. Okay, there we go. We are down. So there's the second one, and then we got one more to go okay. on here, and then we'll be good. Sorry, this takes so much concentration. I'm like so quiet. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, and let's get you in there. And oh, stick, stick. I think I just put that backwards. That's probably why. Oh well. Well, it sticks. We're doing it. You're going there. Okay, there we go. So there's one. It's that one. No, let's do the opposite side. Yes, yeah, snow globe. Yeah, you could totally turn this into a snow globe. 100%. Yes. That would be so cute in December daily. Oh my gosh. Man, see, sometimes I do these things for albums like this, and I'm like, oh, that would have been... Like, now I gotta come up with, I'm actually really excited to come up with some different things for December Daily. So I have finished all of my product play, product play um, class material. So I've got those ones ready to go and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. Um, I need to like take some pictures of it so I can sneak peek them. 
because I have not, <laughs> I have not done that yet. Um, I'm just gonna do this one. So I have those done, ready to go. And then uh, for feature craft, I did the Santa, the Shaker Pocket Santa. And then, um, and then I have one more that's like super simple, but one more for feature craft that's already done as well because we, uh, we are, our assignments we have to do two projects every month. Um, so those are all ready to go. So I think that's like a quarter of my December album is prepped so far. So, and then I've got a couple more that I'm going to create for the um, prep party that we're doing. Um, so that will be fun. That'll give me a couple more, right? Like I think two or three. And then from there, I have to figure out all the rest, which I'm super excited to do that. Um, for those of you who are doing December daily, what did you guys buy any supplies from like traditional scrapbook companies? Like, did anybody get any of the crepe paper or any of the paintbrush studio uh, that came out? I don't even know who else releases Christmas stuff because those are the ones that I pay attention to because I, I liked, I got a couple things from crepe paper and I got a couple things from Pink Fresh because the crepe paper stuff went really well with Allie's and then the, um, the, what you would call it? Here we go. The Pink Fresh goes with Feature Craft. So, okay, so there are my crystal balls. So now we're going to do this. Gnomes from Photoplay. Oh, that sounds so cute. Gnomes are cute. Okay. <laughs> what did Tashi say? Once December works, she has done when she wrote them. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So the funny thing is, is I was, I don't know. I go back and forth between feeling like, um, I just like to have things like ready to go and um, it allows me to, to do other, I don't know. So sometimes I, I even feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm not even close to where I want to be, like how, how ahead I want to be. It's like literally, it's insane, you guys. Don't be like me unless you want to, but you do not have to be like me. Okay, so now we're going to trim this out. And then that is going to give us our window portion. So this is what is going to hold in all the sequins and everything. And, uh, gosh darn it. Okay, let's try not to trim pieces off. Let's, let's not. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, so this is like my window, which is super cool. Ugh, all right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, and then I think I will cut this piece right off there too. So if you are not stitching this, you may want to, like you would probably want to do a full like line of glue instead of just the dots. I just do the dots because it comes out easier that way and I know I'm going to stitch it. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, but there's that. So this one will go here. So that's gonna be really cool. And then we'll have our sequins here at the bottom of the picture. So I am excited for that. And then let's do the other one here. This is going to go on the other side. Do you stuff shit? <gasps> Yay. Awesome, Stephanie. Woo! -hoo! I just got mine recently, my December daily stuff and put it all away. And I'm really excited to like get into it. I still feel like holiday confusion. <laughs> like, I have like one foot in Halloween and one foot in Christmas. I just need to watch Nightmare Before Christmas, like stat, because that is totally my life right now. And that needs to be like a story I tell because, the, because life. All right, so there we go. There's crystal ball number two. Wait, what? What about following? Wait, you mean finish last year's in August of the following year? Finish them. Oh. Okay, so there is crystal ball number one. So let's add our sequins, shall we? Okay, so what we're going to do here, 
how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to do the same thing and I'm just going to use glue. And I think we'll go from the bottom to the top and I will add them in here and then finish it off on the top. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So I'm going to glue from like here around to there. That way it gives me like a good healthy opening at the top. And again, I'm just dabbing it because I'm going to stitch it. So it won't really matter too much. All right, let's hope I remember this. So there we go. That's going to be that. Now we're going to just position it. So thank you so much. All right, Stampin' RN. Uh, if you don't mind, if you're not, um, if you don't mind, what is your first name? <laughs> I love I love uh, getting to know people by their first name. If you're not comfortable sharing that, that's totally fine. Um, I just, I always feel so funny when I'm like, thanking, thank you, Stamping RN. <laughs> you're awesome. Um, but yeah, if you're comfortable sharing, I'd love to know. Okay, so there we go. So there's my opening at the top to put my sequins in. We're just gonna let that one dry for a second and then we will come back to it. So next we're gonna do this one. Now I want to do this for December daily. I want to make this, I want to make a snow globe one because <laughs> you guys are saying that. I really want to do that now. She touched it. Okay, so now let's position this guy. That looks pretty good. And we'll press it down. Okay, so now that one is good too. Okay, so now while those are sort of drying, let's figure out the tab situation. So I need, I think I'll just use black so that it blends in with the rest of it. And I'm going to need portions that are hmm, Anna. Oh, Anna. Anna. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I like that name. Or Ona. Is it Ona? Like with a with a long O or Anna? O. First way or second way? Ona or Anna? Okay. Okay, let's do two inch sections. Two inches. No. Let's go through. Let's go two and a half. Two and a half. That should be good. Whoa, and everything shakes. Okay, so we're gonna go two and a half. And no, 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 two. Let's just keep it with my keep it there okay so then no it should be longer than that because this is going to go in my river but I can fold it this way so let's score this let's score it in the middle normally I have all of these kinds of logistical things figured out before I turn my camera on um, but so we're just going to figure this out together did you guys know you could do this on your cutting thing? Did you know that you could use that to score? I So I have a legit scoreboard. Uh, and then I was watching a YouTube video and somebody did that and my mind was blown because um, like how often do you just need to score one thing and I don't need to get my whole board out for it. So anyway, I thought it was super genius. Okay, so we're going to get this folded down. Like so. Cool. <laughs> yes. Okay, so uh, we've got this. Now, now I need a I need a book. I need a book. Let me get a book. Okay. So we've got storybook. So these are my story albums. I have a bunch of them going all at once <laughs> because I just put my pages in random places and when the pages stop fitting, I just buy a new one. Uh, so when you open this up, I have like this little, actually, I wonder if this will fit in here. <gasps> yes, you guys, I'll be able to put this one in here. So I write myself notes on like what spaces I still need to fill. So I've got... And this one I have not done a flip through of yet. I've only done a flip through of volume one. Um, this one is coming. 
I have some things I have to fix because like my son pulled this off the off of the table and like ripped stuff off of it. So I need to go in my stash and reprint the digital version of it. Little turd. Couldn't believe he did that. It was my own fault for leaving it out, but you know, still. Okay, where is this page? So yeah, so it's literally random. It's where everything's fit, where they fit, they stick. <laughs> and that is that. And then I do, like when I get something to stick in here, I will just go ahead and adhere it back to back. There will be some pages that probably won't be back to back yet because I'm waiting on it. Oh, here we go. No, I want it to be on the other side. Because uh, I wanted this to overlay it. Not to go there. Okay, so no, it's not going to go in here. It'll go in a different one. Um, yeah, so like these ones aren't stuck together yet. They're just waiting. But they're just waiting for me to like finish filling it out so I can just stick them down because I'm too lazy to do it right now. So I need to... I need to... Oh, okay. No, like Frozen. Anna. Okay, all right, cool. Very cool why I didn't name her Elsa. That's so cute. You're like, cause Elsa wasn't, Elsa didn't exist before you. Okay. <laughs> That's so cute. All right. How wide is this? Can we measure this? All right. You are roughly, okay. So I can do two inches. I can do two inches. Cool. That'll work. <gasps> All right. So let's get, so I don't want to take up my desk. Let's just chop you into a two inch piece here. Mm, you know what would be a smarter thing to do? Let's punch it and then we'll put it in. Unless it's too thick. Nope, we're fine. Because if I just punch it, then that tells me how wide they need to be, right? That would have been smarter. Okay. There we go. So that is going to be my edges. So what I need is a thing to hold this in the book. So I need to put, like it looks like it'll be roughly two. I'll be able to do like two and two, which is fine. So let's do that. So this is going to be two. And that'll be one. And then two for the other one as well. And just in case I totally do this wrong, <laughs> let's just cut some extra pieces. We'll go there and there, sure. Okay, so that did that. Da, 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 da. Um, just so we can measure it, I'll just take this. We'll use it. We shall use it. That can go up there. That can leave my desk. Okay. So, this one is going to be on the front. And these I want to just stick together. Which we'll just do that for all of these. That way we don't have to worry about it. Because these are basically going to be just tabs that hold this in my book. And that's it. Do that. That should be good enough. Okay, so if you're gonna go here, you are my tab. That is gonna go here. You are my tab. You know what? Let's. I am totally winging this right now. Totally winging it. But hopefully it'll work. It'll work. I already know it'll work. Just we're just winging it. Broadcast YouTube from my phone to the living room TV. Yeah. Hey, big screen. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? So we have a we have a Google Home, uh, a Google Home, and we also have a Google, mm, like the tablety one, and we can do that too on that, which is super cool, where we can cast it to that when we're in the kitchen, which is awesome. Okay, so let's do that. This is so janky. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing right now. It's going to be okay. We're going to be okay. So, we need to see how we want this to go. 
I kind of want you to go on the second, on the lower one. I think you'll fit better there. Let's see. Yes. Yep. Barely on there. Okay, well, let's do it. So we've got from, oh, let me do this because I'll be able to see it and then I won't be able to, I'll be able to erase it. So we want from here to here and here to there, which is going to be here to here. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying watching me like like flail around and try to figure this out because this is usually not my MO. Okay. <laughs> yeah, parties. Party parties. Okay, so um I finished watching the chilling adventures of Sabrina. And I want to start watching um, The Haunting of the House on the Hill or something like that. Haunting of Hill House. Haunting of Hill House. Sending you a package of loot pins. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, Haunting of Hill House, I believe is what it's called. Have any of you watched that show? And if you are... Are any, do any of you watch the show who are also kind of adverse to a lot of scary movies? Because I want to watch it, but at the same time, I also don't particularly love scary movies. So, honestly, I don't know why I want to watch it. Maybe just because it's Halloween. <laughs> but I would love to know. What is a loop? The show is so good. It's scary, but I love it. Okay, that's good scary stuff. So good. I finished it. Um, have you guys seen, I mean, it's, it is scary. Is it like demonic? Like, are there like demons in it? That always freaks me out. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why demons freak me out. Actually, you want to hear a funny story about a demon, whatever demon story. So, um, my husband, uh, actually loves scary movies. He loves them. And so when he and his brother, his twin brother were younger, they, this is, I gotta trim this. They went to go see the paranormal, not par paranormal activity. Is that what they're called? Paranormal activity movies um, together, like at the movie theater. And they did not know that those movies were fake <laughs> because they say like at the beginning, like they, they treat them at the beginning like they're the real thing. So like he and his brother were terrified after seeing those movies, um, and I just thought that was the funniest thing because I, I mean, I don't love them because I don't really love scary movies, but, um, I knew that they were fake and I don't know. I just thought it was the funniest thing. Okay. So that is good to go. This back here is good to go. I think we're good. It seems even, right? Even enough. It's enough. It's fine. We're leaving it. Anyway, yes, Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery is Pet Cemetery a um, Stephen King book? I think it is, right? Pretty sure. I read his Shining, The Shining, and I actually really want to see that movie. So I feel like maybe what I need to do is read scary books because scary books aren't as bad as scary movies to me. I need to like read the scary books and then watch the movies because then I already know what's going to happen and I don't have to be scared about it. I don't have to be as chicken about it, you know? So like maybe that's what I need to do. All right. So that gives me all the adhesive. I'll add some extra here. So we've got the photos. Okay. Evil. I like that one. Okay. Hey, that's a good suggestion. I could, I could go for evil if it's like you say. Okay. Now I don't need this anymore. That back 
where it goes. Like that. Okay. Okay, so now we have our crystal balls. So we can add some sequins into them. Uh, and then I'll just have to stitch them at some point. Okay. So let's go with stars and some ruby red. All right, so I don't need like a ton. I just need some. Whoa. Sure, let's do that. Okay, so what? You met Stephen King? That's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, that's good to know. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look on Netflix for it. Um, we, Aaron and I, just started watching this. Well, not just. I think we're like halfway through the season of um, the second season of The Boys, which is like the most shocking show <laughs> you've ever seen. But we like it. it. But it is like it is shocking. Like, yes. I think my jaw drops on that one all the time. check sustain. Yeah, that movie scares me. Oh, see, my glue didn't stick very well. That is why, that is why I have to stitch it. Oh, all right. Well, let's get down there. There we go. So I think that's probably good here. I wonder if I should like All right, you guys, should I like purposefully glue some of these on here since this um, is kind of up anyway? Like I could do one there, one there, and like one of these silver ones or something. Or is that dumb? Mm. No, I think I'm just going to... Oh, you love that? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Do, what do you guys think? Should I? Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna let them fall. Just let them fall. It'll be fine. And then once I, darn it, once I get everything stitched, gosh darn it. Uh, <laughs> all right. Back out you go. Never mind. Get back down here. Oh my gosh, I'm so warm right now. Okay, that is coming off. So, let me get you, you little bugger. Both of you. Get out. And you get out. Okay. All right, so I might just need to, like, shove a bunch of this stuff in there and then, like, do it. Like, get it sewn. Okay. So, let's, let's do that. Let's pull this up for a second and not ruin it, please. Okay, so I want to... Add. Good amount. Okay. So I just don't want that bottom. I need to, the bottom to stay. If the bottom can just stay. I can shove a bunch of stuff in there and do it. I probably should have stitched them separately before I put them together. That would have been smart. If you do this again, if you do this for December daily <laughs> and you're going to stitch it close, definitely stitch it before you put the two pieces together. Cause that probably number one would look nicer and number two would be easier to manage. So, you know, do what I say. Ow, not what I do. <laughs> All right. Well, let's give me some red, red, more red, more red, get in there, red. Just kind of pile them in the middle and they'll fall down later. And then flip it. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. The 
This one is still adhered better than the last one, so that's cool. In there, kind of in the middle. And some more red. Yeah. All right, and then that's gonna be that. So, what I want to do is add a tiny bit around here. Come on, come on, baby. And this side too. Thank you, Millie. Oh. See, I'm glad I had something else for you guys because <laughs> we would have been done at the 20 minute mark. Okay. All right. Thank you, um, Melanie, for the idea because I didn't even think about this until like last night. So I sat down and designed it before I went to bed. <laughs> Okay, so this is ready for sewing, and then once I get it sewn, I can, like, tap everything down. So I am going to put this to the side. Okay, that I'll figure out later. Do I have an empty spot anywhere? No. Mm -hmm. We'll put it in this. Little containers everywhere. Okay, so get these back together, that back together, and see what I mean? Look at, done with these now. Cap back on, back in the jar. <laughs> this is enormous. That that tape is enormous. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out a new place to put that. So it doesn't fit in my little place, or I just need to move something out of there. All right, so there's that, there's that, the cap, the tweezer top, put everything back together, garbage. All right, so uh, the question is, should I pull my sewing machine up here and get this thing stitched and done, or uh, do you guys want to call it a night and I will do that off screen? The only reason I ask is because sewing machines are kind of loud. So it could, they're kind of like a jackhammer, you know? Um, so if you don't want to listen to that, I'm totally fine. <laughs> but if you don't care, I will pull up my sewing machine and just get it done. Because we can. Millie says get it done. Right? Okay. All right, cool. We'll just sew it together then. So let me put all this stuff away. If you don't want to listen to my sewing machine and you do want to go, I will not, my feelings will not be hurt. Because uh, I know. <laughs> I know how that goes. So let me put these to the side. Okay. And <laughs> I just store my sewing machine in a box next to my desk right now because I don't have a better place for it. Um, so that's that. All right. And it's super tiny, which is one thing I like about this machine because I do have... I do have like a, a more like I don't want to say more legitimate, but I have like a heavier duty machine that is bigger and heavier. It has a lot more bells and whistles to it. Uh, but this one, like you can see here on my mat, it's 10 inches long. Like it's super tiny. Uh, a lot of them have like an extending arm, which makes things easier when you're working with fabric. Since I'm just working with paper, it it doesn't. I don't need that. Um, and also that allows me to use my nicer one for fabric and then this one for paper so it's pretty cool all right so we'll put that down there and I need to plug this guy in so let's throw that over there all right so let me plug it in and then we'll get it done So that's going to slightly change my lighting, but that's okay. So let's do this. So I am, I don't actually have any black thread left, so I'm just going to use 
white and who cares? It'll be fine. It'll look like it's got like accents on it, I think. I could use red, but I don't know. I think black, I think white would be better than red. So I'm gonna go with white and I'm gonna drop my thread. Okay, so let's get all that in there. And then I'm just gonna put this up here. I know this is technically, so this is technically a bobbin winder. Like this is really where you put your thread on this, but I just put it there. It doesn't matter to me. Um, and let's put you through there. And some gunky stuff on my needle, probably from sewing glue. <laughs> that happens. All right. So let's do that, and then we can get this on there. you to be trimmed. Oh, welcome, Alexandra. Hopefully your work day was good. Uh, uh, get in the hole. The one bad thing is that this doesn't have, this doesn't have like one of those auto threaders. Gosh, that would, that is like the one thing that I love about my big one is I can just like auto thread the thing. So like when I make my videos that you guys see me sewing on, you get all of this part edited right out. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay. Oh, got there. Okay. All right. We're good. Never heard of sewing paper graphs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you know me? Portable. Easy to use. Five pound mechanical sewing. <laughs> Okay, so let's do this. All right, I warn you, it's gonna be loud. not too loud at all. Okay. Oh, all right. Good. Awesome. Because <laughs> it sounds really loud to me. Okay. So here is why I said, if you do this, you might want to sew the two sides separate. So if I had sewn this side and then done this side, then you would have got the nice stitching on both sides. Instead of getting the underneath here, you would have had this nice like top stitch on both sides. It's going to be fine for me. Like I don't care that much. It'll be fine. Um, but if that matters to you, then I would stitch them separate and then once they are done, adhere them together as one unit. The nice thing about doing it now as like one whole unit is this will never come apart. So that will be cool. Um, now, do you guys think I should add stitching along the edge and maybe like along the bottom portions so that it looks like more dimensional there? What do you think? I'm kind of thinking yes. And while we debate that, I am going to get these down inside here. They're all staticky. Get off the Tin Man. Leave him alone. <laughs> yes, okay, I think so too. All right, so I'm just going to go for it and do that. So these are almost all down. So see, that looks really cool. I just need to get those little ones down and I get this little pile down and then this will be so cool. Okay, let's do this while I have this on my desk and then we'll go for it. So...
just need to do the cross pieces. And then that will be good for this. So, let's go making masks. Nice. We'll go from here. All right. No, did you unthread? Darn you, you did unthread. No. <laughs> okay, anybody else who sews, isn't it the worst thing ever? When your machine unthreads and you like stitch a bunch of holes in something, it's the worst. Oh, and then I have to go through this whole shenanigan again. Oh, but I got it. <gasps> got it. Get, come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Let's not mess this up this time. So now to get it right back in that hole again. I can't see. So we're just going for it. Okay. It hates me right now. Okay. Stop hating me. Do this again. Don't, or when you run, yes, yes, or when you run out of bobbin, yes. And you don't know it because it's on the bottom, you know, until you realize that you're not sewing anything anymore. <sighs> yeah, that's the worst. Okay. So, do any of you guys sew on your projects? Have you tried it? Oops. Do you sew at all? I can't sew. I must have had a tension tight. Yes, so like my tension, do I even know what mine is at? Mine's at four, which isn't even as loose as it could go, technically. So it's at a four, and I use the widest possible stitch on mine. For paper crafts, at least. Okay, we got it. See, I'm getting better at this, you guys. Okay, so one more time. Can we do it for real this time? For real, like machine? Can you just cooperate with me? And I promise you, I will let you sleep. Okay. Okay. Call it good. <gasps> this one, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's like so light too. Like this is awesome. And um, one thing I will say about this particular machine in general is that it does not sew fast. Um, so like, like, uh, what do I want to say? The the heavier duty sewing machines can go like wicked fast to sew. This one is like almost meant as a sewing machine to teach children <laughs> to sew on. It's a step up from that, I would say, but it still is like very uh, first time user friendly type of deal because you don't want, if you've never sewn before or if you're not very comfortable sewing, it is better to go slower. So this one like as fast as I was going is as fast as this machine will sew. Um, so I, I will put that out there that it, it is slow. All right. Yeah. So some of them you, and that's usually what you can do. You can usually adjust the speed. Um, sorry, let's get that out of the way. You can usually adjust the speed, but that one just has the one. And if you press less on the pedal, it'll go even slower than that. Right? So like all of them, pretty much all machines do that. But that one just has a slow top speed, I would say. Which is kind of, I mean, it's kind of nice for paper crafting at least because um, it's hard to, it's, yeah, it, 
it's slippier, more slippery than uh, what I want to say <laughs> than fabric. Fabric is is grippier, I suppose. Okay, so ah, so that is that. Let's see if we can get these down, and then that will that'll be it, you guys. Come on, don't be all clumpy in there. All right. It took me a while to do that and some of my Halloween stuff too. So like, on, in some cases, it would have been better. It probably would have been better for me to s stitch it almost and then stick everything in and then close up the stitching. But, you know, this side looks better though. So, um, that is that. Yes, so the machine that I'm using today is a Janome, which is um, what you guys are all talking about. So it is a Janome. All right, let me grab uh, let me grab a book just so we can see how this is going to go in here. And we'll just flip to a page that has the design that I'm making. Uh, we just won't use it. So we'll just kind of, actually it's this one, right? So if we're pretending that this is the page, <laughs> then we've got um, this. So that would be the bottom card. Those would be the top cards. And this goes right in here, like so. So it clips right in there. We've got the photo on the front. We've got the photo on the back. The spread here. Let me check my chipboard just to see. Just to see if there's anything I want to add there. And then that'll, that'll do it for this spread. This will be done. Um... So this is my like spare chipboard bin, uh, which doesn't have as much in it as it looks like because half of my sheets are like sort of used up. So, no. Um, am I frozen right now? I am frozen, shoot, okay, close. Sorry you guys, I think I just froze for a second there because my phone battery said it was low. Um, which maybe is because I unplugged it. So let's plug it back in so it won't freak out. Okay. All right. There we go. Sorry about that. I, my phone, I unplugged it to plug in my sewing machine. Okay. Yeah. I'm holiday preparations. No. Uh, bring on the meal. No. These memories, maybe. Although you're brown, you know, just thankful hero. Wish you were here. You know, <laughs> costume fun story, maybe. How does story look? That's not terrible. Okay. These are all not the colors I want. No. No, no, no. 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 no say nope nope okay and then one other spot to look is here my Halloween stuff okay so we could do no none of these what do you say hide the candy nope bring on the candy all the candy so many candies. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. <laughs> there aren't bats in this anyway. So maybe that will just be this. Just the story. Yeah, I think that's that's probably the best I got. Thank you. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna do this and call it good. And that will be it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this process video. <laughs> okay, that is that. That is gonna be my spread for this. Cool. Wizard of Oz. Thank you, Melanie, for encouraging me to tell my stories because that's what you just did because this is a story that needed to be told. I can't believe it took me this long. So, 
there we go. I hope you guys liked this. I think this turned out really cool. And if you are doing December daily, totally 100% snow globe. Like, so cool. And you could put your own picture in it and, like, have it snowing around you. Like, oh, my gosh, I have to do this now. Um, so that's going to happen. And if you do it, you could totally prep the whole front and the whole back so that all you have to do when you get to December is add your photo behind it, add some sequins in there, and stitch it all closed, and it's done. So super cool. You could totally prep some of that ahead of the time. Um, yes, so I will be back on Saturday is when I will have my next video up here on YouTube. It will be days 8 and 9 in my October daily. Um, and... What is today? Thursday? Oh, and tomorrow, actually. I will have Story Kit Crush. My next season's Story Kit uh, will come up tomorrow morning. So tomorrow's Story Kit. Saturday is October Daily. And so then we will go from there. Where did I get the snow globe? So I searched, go on Google and do an image search for free crystal ball uh, vector image. <laughs> That's what I did. And I eventually, there's a bunch of them that are for purchase. Uh, and then there were a few that were not for purchase. So it's just finding the one that you like the look of the best because they all pretty much look like this. They just have slightly different bases. And this is the base I liked the best of the ones I could find. So that is what you do. Um, yes. So Google search crystal ball vector image free. That's how I found it. Um, I can, I can go ahead and um, add a link to the exact one that I have here after the fact because I didn't do that before. So I will do that probably tomorrow at some point. I'll add that link in there too. So if you want this exact one, I'll show you where you can get it. Cool. So yes, anything else before I let you guys go? Any other last minute questions? And then that'll be that. I'll give you guys just a few seconds here. I'm going to take this back out so I can add it into the album it's actually going to go in once I figure that out. <laughs> I also should date stamp it. You guys, I do you forget to date stamp things? Because I forget to date stamp things all the time. And eventually what I do is I just go through my book and I say, oh, what's the oldest spread that I made in here and what's the most recent? And then I just go from this date to this date. <laughs> That's how I end up dating things. So all right. Well, you guys, it's been great. I am so glad you all came. Thank you so, so much. Thank you all for the super chats. You guys, you, you, you really got me there. You really got me all flustered. So thank you. Uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day, fantastic night, wherever it is you live in the world. And I will catch you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye, you guys.